Corey Taylor rocks hard, but he doesn't have a heart of stone. Today on Rockfeed, and in no particular order, we're counting down 10 emotionally epic times Corey Taylor tugged at our heartstrings. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe with notifications on. Rockfeed publishes daily hard rock and heavy metal news stories. So subscribe now to make sure you don't miss out on any breaking news. At number 10, Corey Taylor confronts his childhood trauma. The cultural image of the tortured musician is surely part of the reason Viceland's new show, The Therapist, exists. In it, the Los Angeles therapist, Siri Satnam Singh, sits one-on-one -on -one with musicians for a 22-minute episode therapy session, consisting almost entirely of conversation, sprinkled with only brief bits of news footage or music videos. The result is an odd and oddly compelling entry into the dubious emerging genre of televised therapy. Watching, you're reminded that no person, troubled recording artist or otherwise, is just an archetype. On season one, episode three, Corey Taylor confronts the traumas of his past, including abandonment, attempted suicide, and childhood rape. At number nine, Corey Taylor's son Griffin joins his dad on stage with Stone Sour. The elder Taylor beamed as his son, whose matching haircut made him look like a mini-me, took the stage. So I want to, uh, I want to invite to the stage my son, Griffin Taylor. At number eight, Corey Taylor sings SpongeBob SquarePants to his kid. Are you ready, kids? Corey Taylor covered the SpongeBob SquarePants theme song for a room full of concert goers and his son Griffin. It's a bit odd seeing a man whose success has mostly been made while wearing scary, gruesome masks singing a playful children's song. Here, Corey performs a pretty mean rendition of the SpongeBob SquarePants intro. Say what you want about Corey Taylor, but this video alone proves he's down to earth, honest, and he can take some humility from time to time. It's also evidence of just how big a heart he actually has. At number eight, Corey Taylor sings SpongeBob SquarePants. It just looks right. It looks right at me and he said, you're gonna regret this. At number seven, Corey meets a paralyzed fan. Corey visited a paralyzed fan in the hospital to lift his spirits after the fan, Aaron Foley, was hit by an oncoming truck after helping a buddy who'd fallen off his motorcycle. He sustained a lot of damage from the hit, including multiple broken ribs, a burst lung, a lacerated liver, and getting paralyzed from the waist down. Foley's family reached out to their local San Diego radio station, 105.3, to have Taylor come and visit him in the hospital. As seen in the following clip, Taylor showed up at the hospital, completely taking Foley by surprise. God damn, dude. At number six, Corey gets inspired by a fan. In this clip, Corey talks about the most inspirational story he's ever been told by a fan. He was in Dallas, Texas, and it was late, and he had been drinking, and it was at the end of a tour. A kid came wandering over to Corey. It had been a bad show and Corey had had too much to drink. He wasn't feeling too proud of the show and the fan asked Corey what was the matter. Corey replied with how he felt like he'd ripped everybody off. Coming in at number six, Corey gets inspired by a fan. All of my shit, all of my weird ego, selfish shit felt that big. I was like, this kid has seen it all. He's taking two fucking seconds to give me advice. At number five, Corey sings for Chester Bennington. In this video, Corey pays tribute to Chester Bennington as he performs with Stone Sour. Corey dedicated the song Through Glass to the Lincoln Park frontman. On July 20th, 2017, Bennington was found dead at his home in Palo Verde's Estates, California. His death was ruled suicide by hanging. The singer struggled with drugs and alcohol for years. He had said in the past that he had considered committing suicide because he had been abused as a child by an older male. Corey Taylor also suffered from childhood trauma. At number five, 
Corey Taylor sings for Chester Bennington. At number four, Corey's emotional acceptance speech of the Rock to Recovery Icon Award. The Rock to Recovery Icon Award is given each year to a public figure known far and wide that uses his or her power to influence great masses of people. With this award, Rock to Recovery specifically honors someone who has battled addiction to overcome in an industry full of challenges. Corey, who tried to commit suicide in 2003 by attempting to jump off a hotel balcony while struggling with alcoholism, gave an inspiring acceptance speech at the Rock to Recovery Benefit Concert, in which he touched upon his struggles with depression and anxiety and how he's attempted to work through them with therapy, healthy habits, and sobriety. At number four, here's Corey's emotional acceptance speech. You have nowhere to go with it. Your trial and error becomes your way of life. Who you are is a question every day. And why? And in this industry, that why is kind of wrapped up in a lot of weird shit. And number three, Corey pays tribute to Chris Cornell. Corey and his band Stone Sour paid tribute to Chris Cornell by performing a cover version of Soundgarden's Outshined. At number three, here's Corey performing Outshined for Chris one Cornell. Of my favorite singers. He was one of my favorite fucking all time songwriters. And the fact that he is gone makes this world a little bit smaller. So one time, make some fucking noise for Chris Cornell. I had the pleasure of hanging out with him and he was honestly one of the coolest motherfuckers I had ever met in my fucking life. At number two, Corey dedicates snuff to his fallen brother, Paul Gray. In this very emotional clip, Corey plays an acoustic version of the Slipknot song, Snuff, as a tribute to Slipknot's bassist, Paul Gray, during Taylor's solo concert. At number two, Corey dedicates snuff to Paul Gray. At number one, Corey gets married. A wedding in our culture is one of the most significant rites of passage. The entire experience is fraught with emotion, and in this clip, Corey and Alicia Dove share the wedding video of the actual ceremony. The video is cued to Billy Joel's She's Got Away, in which they exchange vows, kiss, and have their hands bound together with braided rope, ending with what appears to be an acoustic serenade from Taylor to his new bride. Dove reposted the video as well, writing, Here is the fire that burns within me, my love, my life. At number one, Corey gets married. Thank you for joining us. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe. Rockfeed posts breaking hard rock and heavy metal news and videos just like this one. Do us a favor and subscribe with notifications on and check out these recommended videos. We hope to see you again and be sure to like and drop a comment below. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you all very soon.